Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now the other day uh, someone requested a video on how to hide icons inside control panel so I thought I'd make a video to show you how to do that. Now I did make a video to show you how to completely hide and lock out the whole control panel but they want to only hide a specific item so let's go ahead and show you how to do that in this video. Now you will need, if we're going to be using the group policy editor here, you are going to need to have Windows uh, 10 professional and above uh, if you don't do that then you're going to have to use the registry and I will show you how to do it in the registry as well so let's get started so first off this is what they're on about basically you get access to the control panel here and if you want to lock this down uh, some items down for instance say you don't want them having access to Windows firewall and you don't want them having access to administrative tools and all the goodies that you can make damage to the system with or change then you can lock these out and hide them I'm going to do that in this video so first off, let's go to our search windows down the bottom here, and we're going to type in here gpedit.msc. We're going to click on this, and this is going to open up the group, group policy editor. Okay, so here we are in the group policy editor. Now this is a really powerful tool, and this can make changes to the system uh, where you won't be able to access once you've got these changes in place. So to do this, we're going to look here on the left hand pane where it says user configuration. And we're going to go into administrative templates here and drop this arrow down here. Now, once you're inside here, what you want to look for is control panel. And there is loads of areas with control panel in, but this is the one you need. Okay, user configuration, administrative templates and control panel. If you look over on the right here, you can see here the forbid access to control panel and settings. This is if you want to lock the uh, control panel completely down so they can't get into it whatsoever and there'd be no uh, access to that. But what he's on about is this one, hide uh, specific control panel items. So this is the same thing really, but you're just going to hide certain items in there and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go here and enable this feature and then what we need to do here is go to show and now we can put in our item that we want. Now, if we look quickly at here, what you don't want to do is you don't want to look at the category area and try to type this in because it's not going to work. What we want to do is go to the large icons and block certain areas. So let's say, for instance, you want to block this system area here. You don't want them getting into uh, system. So what you want to do here is we're just going to quickly come here and we're going to type system inside here and click OK. Apply OK and if you look here now it will still be there and the reason for that is because we need to uh, update the group policy so what we're going to do here is come down to the search windows area and type CMD right click on this and run this as administrator click yes to the user account control so once the command prompt window opens up type in here GP update and this will update our group policy that we've just set and then that should then remove that from the control panel. So now you can see that's successfully updated. Open up our control panel by typing control inside the search box and open that up. And you'll see that now it has been removed. And that's basically what you need to do. And you can just do that by adding all these in if you want to. And, uh, and that's the way you can do it. Now there is another way to go around the shorter method if you just want to leave one item you can do that also and I'll cover that in another video but let's close this off now and uh, we're going to undo that and I'll share to do that in the registry. So what we're going to do here uh, is just quickly undo this. So if you want to reverse the cycle you just go not configured and apply an OK. And then what we're going to do here is come back in here and type GP. Uh, update like so and that will update the policy and uh, once that's done it should be back in there so let me just quickly close that off and type control there we go and it's back again now if we want to remove this in the uh, registry because you don't have Windows 10 Pro or Windows 7 Pro or any version pro or above to get group policy editor then we can do it in the registry and I'll show you how to do that so let's close these off okay so what we want to do here is come down to the bottom left hand corner and type reg edit 
like so and then click on the registry editor and uh, once we've got this open what we want to do here is come down to where it says current user and then pull this tab down and then what we want to do is go down to where it says software drop that down just make this a bit bigger here so you can see now once we're there what we want to do is come down to where it says Microsoft so from software we want to come down to Microsoft there drop that down and we want to go to Windows which is there open this one up and we want to go to current version and then from current version we're going to go to policies drop that down there and there we have Explorer so inside Explorer what we want to do is come over to the right hand pane on the Explorer folder and right click here go new and then dword 32-bit value now even if you've got a 64-bit machine you need to use the 32-bit value okay now from there what we want to do is go dis allow CPL in capitals just like so and then once we've done that what we're going to do here is put a one inside here to enable that feature and uh, what we want to do next is come down to uh, here where it says Explorer right click on this and then go new and we're going to do key we're going to call this this allow CPL like so so what we're going to do now is I'm going to right click here on the right hand pane inside here just to make sure so inside the disallow CPL underneath Explorer we need to go to the right hand pane click new and then string value I'm going to put the first one in here name this one double click on this this box will open and give it a data value of say system and there you go that's done now if you want to do more you can do but what we're going to do is just go to control panel and there we go and you can see here that system has now been removed so what we need to do here if you want to do any more I'll show you what to do so sound this just do the sound because it's nice and short so for instance if you want to do another one you go new string value number two double click on this and then put the value date of sound and click OK and uh, when we go back into here the sound would have been removed so I need to close this off control and there we go sounds removed and so on and so on you just go through here and do whatever you want and we'll do just one more here go new string value number three double click on it and we'll call this Windows firewall like so click OK and we've got that added in you just keep going down here okay now what we need to do here next is uh, just quickly open up control panel just open up control panel again and you'll see that's been disappeared and you can go through this way if you don't have the group policy editor and if you want to remove these you can just delete these if you want to uh, just delete the C disallow CPL and go into the Explorer and delete the disallow CPL there and you can amend it if you wish if you want to keep it but basically that's uh, how you can go about doing that inside the registry anyway i'm going to wrap this one up i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button it really does help also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos also hit the notification bell uh, next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified when i do upload every video uh, on a regular basis and it will just notify you when that video has been uploaded anyway thanks again for watching guys thanks for your continued support I shall see you again in the next one. Bye for now.